guys, my name is Audrey and this is a tutorial on the shortcut of how to trace in Adobe Illustrator. So you're going to want to open up a new document and once you do that, then you're going to copy and paste whatever image it is that you're wanting to trace. If you want to follow along with the video, then you can go on the internet and you can copy and paste this exact image off of there and you can follow along. Once you copy and paste it, you can do control T and that's going to be able to adjust that image exactly how you want it. And just to make sure that you don't alter the proportion of the image, do control T and then also push shift. And right here, you can see exactly why we're wanting to trace it because we want to trace it so it's a vector image and the image that we currently have, anything that's blown up, it's going to be super blurry and pixelated. So now you're going to want to click on object and then live trace and then trace option. Once you get there, you're going to click on the preview box, but that way you can see exactly what's going on on your picture while you're editing everything else. And then for the mode, you have three options. You can do grayscale, black and white, or color. And so it just depends on whatever image you're tracing. And then under that, you'll see the colors. You can choose how many colors you want. And for like this one, you can see in the middle that there are brown shades that you really don't need. And because all you really need are two colors is the orange and then also the brown. Under that is a blur option. And we won't really use this on this image because it's already clear. But if you have an image that you're tracing and it's kind of jagged and it's moved out, that's when you would use the blur option. Now on the right side, you'll see it says path fitting. And what that is, it controls the distance between the trace shape and the original pixel shape. So if you have a lower number, then it's gonna make a more tighter path. But if you have a higher one, it's gonna make it looser. And then right under that is minimum. And what this does is, it's the smallest pixel that you want traced. So let's say you have a value of eight in there. That means that the smallest pixel is gonna be a four by four pixel. And anything smaller than that isn't gonna be traced and it's just gonna be left out of the image. Then the corner angle, this sharpens any turns in the image. So if you have a higher number, then it's gonna make more paths and more anchor points. And of course, you can play with all of these options while you go. That's why the preview button, I think, is so useful. Because sometimes you don't exactly know what is going to be the best option for you. And so what I just like to do is play with that and see what is the best result. Now I'm going to zoom in so that you can see that it's a clear line and there isn't that much pixelation anymore because it is a vector image. After you get your image traced and you see that there are things that need to be edited, then click on object at the top, live trace, and then expand. Once you do that, you'll be able to see the paths and the anchor points and you can adjust it like it was an image that you just drew yourself. And when you're trying to adjust the object, if you're wanting to adjust just one point like I'm doing on this A right now, you are needing to use the direct select tool. Like on the left, it's gonna be the second one from the top. But if all you're wanting to do is move the whole object, then you're going to click just the selection tool, which is the first one on the left-hand side. And then after I'm done, I'm just gonna save it for web and device. But that's because anything that I do, I'm usually making it just for social media. So all I need is the PNG file.
Well, thanks for watching the video and I hope this helped you out. And there's going to be more instructions in the bottom below. And also, I'm going to have a link that goes straight towards the Illustrator website because they have definitions on everything in the live trace options. So that should help also. And if you have any questions for me, just leave comments below. And I hope you all have a great day.